Hey everybody, I am Surbhi and you are watching Key Differences. In this video, I am going to tell you the differences between CRR that is cash reserve ratio and SLR that is statutory liquidity ratio. So friends, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Before understanding what is CRR and SLR, first of all we will go through the basic concept. So friends, individuals and companies deposit their money as savings in bank at a specific rate of interest. Bank lends this amount to the borrowers as loans at a higher rate of interest. This means that the rate of interest paid by the bank to the deposit holders is less than the rate of interest charged to the borrowers. And in this way, banks earn money. Now suppose what will happen when the bank provide all their money as loans to earn more and more money. So friends, this will increase the overall money in circulation in the market and also led to higher inflation. To control this, CRR and SLR has been introduced. Cash reserve ratio and statutory liquidity ratio is maintained daily as a percentage of net demand and time liabilities on the last Friday of second preceding fortnight. Now you must be thinking, what is net demand and time liabilities? So friends, demand liabilities means the amount of money which is payable to the customer on demand. That is, withdrawal can be made by customer anytime. For example, savings account, current account. On the other hand, time liabilities means the amount of money payable to the customer after a stipulated period of time. That is, the customer has to wait till maturity for withdrawal of that amount. For example, fixed deposit, recurring deposit, etc. Moving on to cash reserve ratio. CRR is the percentage of net demand and time liabilities that the commercial banks are obligated to keep with the central bank in the form of cash and cash equivalents. For example, suppose the net demand and time liability of the commercial bank is 1000 crores and the rate of CRR is 4%. So the bank has to keep 40 crores, that is 4% of 1000 crores as reserves with RBI. Further, you must note that the commercial banks are not allowed to use that money kept with RBI for economic and commercial purposes. Also, no interest is given by RBI on CRR. Moreover, CRR regulates the bank's lending capacity and also controls the supply of money in the market. Moving on to the facts about CRR. Typically, the rate of CRR ranges between 3% to 15%. Suppose, the rate of CRR is 5%. It implies that the banks are required to keep rupees 5 with the central bank whenever there is an increase in the bank deposits by rupees 100. A higher CRR indicates that the banks will have less funds to invest or extend credit to the customers and vice versa. Therefore, if the RBI wants to raise supply of money in the system, it will reduce the rate of CRR. While, if RBI seeks to decrease the money supply in the market, then it will increase the rate of CRR. Coming to statutory liquidity ratio. At the close of business every day, the banks are required to maintain a certain proportion of their net demand and time liabilities as liquid assets, such as cash, gold and investment in specified instruments, which is called as SLR. In simple words, statutory liquidity ratio refers to the percentage of net demand and time liabilities that the banks are obligated to keep with themselves as reserves that is, the bank cannot provide loan with this amount. For example, suppose the net demand and time liability of the commercial bank is 1000 crores and the rate of SLR is 19%. So the bank has to keep 190 crores, that is 19% of 1000 crores with themselves. This helps in maintaining the liquidity position of the banks. Now coming to the facts about SLR. The rate of SLR is decided by the central bank. It is authorized to increase this rate up to 40%. Suppose the rate of SLR is 18%, which implies the banks are required to keep rupees 18 with themselves in the form of liquid assets whenever there is an increase in the bank deposits by rupees 100. So, a higher SLR reflects that the banks will have less money for commercial transactions and extension of credit. Therefore, an increase in SLR will lead to a rise in the interest rate of loans and advances. And when the SLR falls, there will be a fall in the rate of interest on loan and advances. Moving on to the difference between CRR and SLR. Meaning, CRR is an abbreviation for cash reserve ratio. 
it is the percentage of net demand and time liabilities which the commercial bank need to park with the central bank on the contrary slr or statutory liquidity ratio is the percentage of net demand and time liabilities which the bank need to maintain themselves in the form of liquid assets at any point in time next maintained with while crr is maintained with the central bank that is the reserve bank of india slr is to be maintained by the banks themselves next form as the name suggest cash reserve ratio involves maintenance of reserves in the form of cash and cash equivalents whereas statutory liquidity ratio requires maintenance of reserves as liquid assets that is cash gold and investment in government bonds bills and securities further banks do not earn any interest as a return on the money kept as crr however banks usually earn interest as a return on the funds invested in government securities for maintaining slr next objective with crr the central bank aims at maintaining monetary stability in the country whereas slr governs the bank's leverage for credit extension so a change in slr determines the bank's leverage position to pump or pour money into the economy next use the central bank can use crr as a tool to drain out excess money out of the system or release funds required for the economy from time to time conversely slr is another tool in the hands of central bank which ensures the solvency of the banks and increases the investment of banks in the government securities so friends this is all for today i hope the concept of crr and slr is clear to you now however if you want to study the topic further in detail you can visit our official website that is keydifferences.com here you can find a detailed comparison of crr and slr along with their definitions links are also provided in the description box below i hope you liked this video and if you did please do give it a thumbs up and share it with other people also if you are new to this channel and wanna get more such useful videos consider subscribing the channel and also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you are notified every time whenever a new video is uploaded on this channel and if you have any queries or feedback for me feel free to leave in the comment section below until next time this is me surbi signing off